have a seat right here. We're going to put you... Uh, Mikel, Michael Petrus. I'm going to get an official uh, pronunciation, by the way, so fans will know what to call you before the season begins. Air France. And friends. Air France. Air France. Okay, Air France. But then the pronunciation of your first name. Michael Petrus. Michael. Okay, Michael Petrus. So there you have it. You've been in Golden State for the last few years. Your first year with the Orlando Magic. Uh, I talked with Donald Foyle a little bit about you. He knows your game well. He says you're going to provide great defensive toughness to this team and ability to make the three-point shot out of the corner. Did he miss anything else? What else can you provide this um, team? He missed my rebound. Yeah, you know, he did mention that, and block shots too. Yeah, yeah, I think I can bring a lot for this team, and especially on defensive side. And I think that if the Magic want to win a championship, everybody has to commit it to defense. And I'm gonna do everything to to be successful this year and and bring the championship here. You know, you're the guy that Otis Smith and Stan Van Gundy identified as the player that this team needed to plug into that two guard spot to help bring this team to another level. Does that give you confidence that they have such confidence in you? I think it gave me a lot of confidence because I think that the, the, our team have a great team. We have a lot of players who can make plays. And I think that uh, if we play together, we stick together throughout the season, we can be very successful. And I look forward to, to, to get my part into that team. So I've been watching them from, from last year. And the only thing who was missing was the defensive presence. And I, I'm going to try to do my, the best job as I can every night. We look forward to seeing you play. I'd like for you to sort of introduce yourself to Magic fans. As far as your background, though, you, you grew up in, in the island of Guadeloupe? Yeah, I was born in the island of Guadeloupe, and then I French moved to crew. France when I was uh, 16. I played three years professional, and then I left when I was 21. I got drafted by the Warriors, by Odie Smith, the GM, great GM. And then I spent five years, we made the playoff. He was kind of tough at the beginning for me. But at the end, he turned out very well, and now I'm with the Magic, and I'm very excited about the season. And I'm a type of player who enjoy no matter what. So, uh, so that's the only thing to know about me. I was talking with um, Golden State broadcasters, Jim Barnett in particular, last week in New York at the NBA broadcast meetings. He said you're going to love this guy because you've got a great personality, you've got a great zest for life, you're a good basketball player. And we were going to have a lot of fun with you. Is that the way you, you sort of approach life? Yeah. You know, I'm trying to enjoy life the best way I can because when I was nine years old, I lost my mom. I didn't have any, anybody else to support me. So I'm trying to, to kind of know everybody and try to, to, to make everybody enjoy what I do, basketball, and, and after we retire. I know that camp starts tomorrow as far as on the court, but you've been playing and working out with this, this group of guys for several weeks now. Uh, some early impressions from uh, you, you uh, on your new teammates? I'm very happy to, to have new teammates, and I look forward to, to work with them through our practice, and we're going to have some tough times, and but uh, we, we, are, we have a great team. I think that we, we can go as deep as we went last year in the playoff uh, after the, the Detroit series, and I think that uh, they're going to be very successful, and, and I look forward to this season. Now your NBA career up till this point, you... Um um, you, you played just with the Golden State Warriors, so this will be the first NBA team that you played with outside of Golden State. Um, talk about just the difficulties of making that transition, moving from one team to another for the first time in your career. I think it's it's tougher when you get traded throughout the season, but when when you spend all the summer with your teammate, got I think try to know them and and have a feeling about what the, the team will look like and the organization was they were waiting for. It's kind of easier because your focus will be on the one thing is a championship. So before I came here, I always say that now I'm 26, it's time for me to win the championship. And that's why I choose the Magic because I think I can bring a lot for them, a lot on the table. And, and with my teammate, is our goal will be to, to, to fight through the season and get a ring. Sounds good to me. Apparently we have a question. Um, uh, insider at OrlandoMagic.com. That's where fans can ask questions. And we do have a question from someone from the Internet. What nickname do you like more, Air France or Peaches? I like, if the fan call me Peaches, I would love it. I would love you it. You like Peaches? Yeah, because Peaches is like my name, Petrus. And then if they yell Peaches when I'm going to shoot a three, 
He's going to be excited. So I look forward to see Peaches on a crowd. Okay. Air France or Peaches, either one works for you. Yes. Okay. Well, we'll, we'll, go, with, uh, we'll go with both from time to time through the season. Okay, when I dunk, we go with Air France. And when I shoot the three, everybody goes with Peaches. peaches. There you Here go. we go. <laughs> I like it. Thanks a lot. Michael. Yes, Michael. Michael. I'll get it before the first game on Thank television, you. I promise. Thanks a lot. You. Thanks a lot. Appreciate Thank you. you stopping by. Thank you. Mikael Petrus. Oh. Just drop it down there. Thank you. Good luck this week. Thanks. <laughs>